when did you get started working online? I started uh, early 2015, so I'm at about nine years now. And I mean, my experience before that with computers online and, you know, a little bit of programming and stuff, there was that, but, you know, digital marketing, content marketing, any of that started early 2015 with, uh, with an invitation from a good friend from high school <laughs> who had been blogging for a while at that point, but uh, that's where I got started. And is it safe to say you pretty much didn't know anything about it in 2015? Oh yeah. I, I mean, I made all the same mistakes as every, every beginner at that point. Perfect. Okay. So I can tell by looking at, you know, the intro that we have for you here, you're a, you're a good learner. You, you seem to be able to pick things up in a lot of engineering and project management comes around to, you know, finding a problem, closing the gap and, and just kind of making some forward progress here. So you figured it out. You eventually became very proficient, um, an expert in the area. Talk just a little bit about starting income school and what the idea was behind that and, and any goals that maybe you had in the early days. Yeah. You know, um, it's funny because I went to school for engineering and, you know, engineers for the most part aren't really entrepreneurs. But while I was still in college, I kind of got the bug. I had a roommate and cousin who was uh, a business major and he took me to these uh, business competitions they had on campus. And I'd watch these people presenting their business plans and making pitches to angel investors. And I was like, this is cool. This is exciting. And so I, I went into a uh, the engineering world, finished my degree and everything, but with fully planning to get an MBA, um, at least, you know, maybe work up through management and stuff. But really, like from the very beginning, I always was doing something on the side, trying to figure out like, you know, what's my thing? What, what could I do on the side? So, you know, while this is happening, my one of my like closest friends from high school, uh, Jim Harmer, he had been going to law school and started his side thing. And he was, he was doing photography for fun, but he started blogging about it. And at the time they're just, I mean, this was a while ago there, um, you know, niche websites and, and I mean, it was not really talked about very much yet. And so there were a few people talking about it, mostly just blogging about it at that time. And anyway, so he was learning from people like Pat Flynn in his early days of just the things that were working for him and little, he had these little wins here and there, like just kind of figuring stuff out till the point where he was about to graduate from law school and realized that he was now making more as a blogger than he was going to make as a lawyer. And he didn't really like being a lawyer. Uh, you know, he does his internship and he's like, I don't really like this. So anyway, he makes use of his law degree now and then just mostly for our, our benefit or now for his benefit. But Anyway, he, he'd been doing this for a while, so he decided to kind of test out his approach and see how it would work. He bought a couple of sites, he built a couple new sites, and reached the point where he's like, you know what, I, I have an approach to this that works, and I think it's repeatable. I've done it a few times now. I want to teach it. So he starts this blog and a podcast and gets a few months in and realizes this is a lot because his full-time thing was still that photography site. And he's like, I... I need a partner. I need someone who's smart, who works hard, who can learn. And it's keen of you to pick that up, Doug. I think, you know, when, if people ask me, like, what do you think is your kind of your unique talent or the thing that you're best at? And I'm like, well, learning stuff, which, which makes me like never the best at probably any one thing, but I like learning and I'm good at it and I learn things quickly. So he pulled, he pulled me in or invited me. And I, at the time, it was a side thing for both of us. We thought, we'll make some money on the side. Maybe someday this could be a full-time kind of thing. And, and that's what it was. I mean, I was living in Texas at the time, working, just finishing my MBA. And there's a lot of things that sort of happened that uh, are, we're very fortunate. One of those things was just a few months later, I graduated with my MBA and then I got laid off from my job. And part of me was just thrilled because I was dying to move back home to Idaho and that's where Jim was. And, and also because the company that I worked for had helped sponsor this MBA and I had this like 
contract. I was locked in to work for them for at least two more years as an underpaid MBA. <laughs> so uh, instead, I got to go find a brand new job working for a different company who moved me back to Idaho. And, you know, that was fantastic. So I did that. It took a few months where Jim and I both just kind of took a break because I was moving. Um, Jim ended up moving closer to where I was, actually. Um, just they moved around every few years. And, um, and we got started and it started, it's just like, I'm trying to learn everything I can. I'm writing blog posts during my lunch breaks, um, and just trying to sort of catch up. Right. Meanwhile, Jim and I would get together one night a week to create something, some kind of, some content together. Um, and that's kind of what happened. And we did that for a while. And after a bit, we we took what he had done and all the things that worked best and we, and we systematized it. There's the engineer in me. It's like, let's turn this into a process that could be repeatable. Like we're here to teach people, let's do that. And, um, and we created a product, very simple. We called it niche site school, 60 steps. Here you go. And, uh, you know, that kind of it started out slow, picked up a little bit over time. And, uh, we started making videos on YouTube. Um, just again, creating more content on just other blogs, continuing to test everything we were doing. And then, uh, after we'd done that for a little while, we, uh, we reached a point where we're like, you know what, we can make this a lot better now that we've seen what's working for people. What's not, we see what sort of questions they come back to us with. And we turned it into what we have now, which is called project 24. That's a full membership with a community and everything. Um, and we launched that. And right after that launched, I realized I, I don't need that job anymore. And so I got to leave that and do it full time. So there's kind of the st still kind of long, but much uh, shortened version <laughs> of right. those few years. And it was it was about three years from 2015 to 2018. Um, it was early 2018 that we launched Project 24. And I was done with the uh, corporate world. If you like this interview, be sure to head over to Ranking Revolution. It's my new podcast and you can watch the whole thing. In fact, there's two parts and I need support over there. So really appreciate it. If you head over, check out the full interview, leave a comment. Ricky spent an hour with me. It was an awesome conversation and I appreciate y'all's support.